This is the future me for this video. I'm going to film in the basement for about one minute and it, I'm very hard to see, so don't hang up. <laughs> Hi everyone, Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm and obviously I'm in a cold storage for plants. I'm in my basement, but everything's waking up and we're going to start bringing them out and getting them where we want them. But today we're going to talk about the African blue basil. Remember, that's a perennial and it can handle the cold storage. So my Thai basil, which lasted through the winter in pots, is upstairs. But this, look at it now, it's about to bloom. So I'm gonna bring it up and show you how to take care of it. All right, we're outside in the compost pile. And um, this lost about six inches over the winter of soil if you want to zoom in. So what I want to do is I want to carefully dump this and I'm going to add a mixture of compost and bonnie harvest because it's got um, the nutrients that I want to add to this to last. So let me um, gently see if this comes out. Okay, good. Okay, the mixture looks great. It's light, airy, has some weeds. So now I'm going to take the container and fill it. Now this is an old container and I'm planning on putting it in something else, in a nice raised bed. You could do that, and I'll show you later on this spring. All right, we're inside now, and we're going to do some companion planting. And But before we do this, we need to clean this up. And remember, the African blue basil is a sterile plant. These seeds are no good. The bees love them, and that's what we want. We want a great pollinator plant. So this comes out of the dark opal basil and the camphor basil. So what I want to do is cut all the seed heads. And by the way, these are great for cooking. All right, so I've cleaned it up and right now I pruned it. I want to prune it because I really want to bush this out. This will get over two foot. I'm going to pull some leaves and I'm going to throw it in some water and let it root and then I have some more plants. Now, the African blue basil is great for planting with your vegetables, especially your tomatoes and your peppers. It increases the flavor. So I have an old pepper plant in here, and believe it or not, it looks dead, but it's coming back to life because they kind of die back in the basement. So what I'm going to plant is some chocolate whole cherries. Now let's talk about some cherries. My daughter and grandson love these so much, but when my daughter was younger, I had all these cherry tomatoes, and I kept going out. Taylor, something's wrong with the cherry plants. Yeah, cherry tomato plants. Turned out the neighbor and her had been eating them and giggling the whole time. <laughs> so now I plant tons of cherry tomatoes. That way there's some for me. They're at the barbecue pit, they're in pots, they're inside. But what I'm going to do with this container, it's not a pretty container. I guess I could paint it. But Stefan and I have built something that this is going to um, sit into it, and then it's going to be up in the air, and it's going to cascade everything in his garden. So I'm going to take a couple of these chocolate cherries, and I'm going to lean them in, if you could focus in here. And I'm just going to put a couple. Oh, look at the roots. These are pretty good. We started these not too long ago. Okay, so these will fill over. Then, 
I'm going to add the, um, basically, it's a royal black ornamental pepper, but it's so hot we actually eat it. No, let me take that back. Taylor eats it, and I look at it. <laughs> this is going to be stunning. So I'm going to put a couple of these in here. I started these from seeds though as well. And the good thing about pepper plants, you could do it any time of the year. Okay. And then, just for color, just for the fun of it, I have some beautiful spring flowers, Dianthus. Now, these are actually a perennial. So, this will be covered by the leaves, so when it gets too hot, it won't hurt it. So, let me pull Dianthus these Dianthus is just a beautiful little flower, and you can see them. I pot these, and then when I want to use them, I just take them out. And... Um, they're really root bound. I think I've had them in that container so long. So these will really add a beautiful color, you know, and they'll be here forever. Once you plant them, you have them. So, okay. So tomato plant, cascades over, chocolate cherry. And by the way, my daughter said, this is a really funny story. She said, yeah. Kayla, our neighbor, she didn't eat vegetables. She said, that was the only vegetable that she ever had, so that was a good thing we took up. <laughs> but, and then the chocolate peppers, the African blue basil, and I have no idea what this pepper is. I'm gonna prune this. Now, what am I gonna do with this for the care? Right now, I'm going to keep it inside. It's still cool outside. We have some more frost coming, but I took it out of the basement so I could acclimate, start acclimating, and I could start companion planting with it. In about a week, I'm going to put it in the shade outside, and after that, it's going to go in its container in Stefan's garden. But I hope everybody gets an African blue basil. We need bees. This is the pollinator plant that you that you want and need. <laughs> this is Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm. Have a great day. Please subscribe, like, and share, and thumbs up as Stefan says.